What's up guys, out on the toy hunt again today. Uh, so, we're gonna hit up a couple toy shops, we're gonna hit up probably some Walmart, some Targets, um, but our first stop here is going to be a brand new toy shop here in Gastonia, North Carolina. It's called Red Genesis. I was just made aware of it. I think the guy's only been open for like five days total. So we're gonna go in his shop, we're gonna check it out. That's gonna be our first stop here see what he's got uh, i've seen some pictures inside the store already uh, so it looks like he's gonna have a lot of vintage type stuff which you know is right up my alley uh, especially lately i've really kind of jumped into a lot of the vintage collecting i've uh, been looking you know i've been doing street sharks and turtles and you know just different stuff from a vintage standpoint so really excited uh you know to uh have another toy shop in the area uh, we're also gonna hit up our buddy at back in time collectibles jimmy who you guys are probably becoming familiar with jimmy's always got a good selection of stuff always getting in new stuff uh, so we'll check him out and then we're just gonna see kind of what's on the shelves at a couple big box stores you know the targets and the walmart see what kind of new stuff is dropping we're still on the hunt for the defenders uh figures you know we've got the flash gordon we still need ming we still need the phantom so we're going to be trying to get those uh as well so yeah here we go let's hit up red genesis first off and go from there all right guys so we are at red genesis in gastonia so this is a new shop it's been here for like five days literally five days and uh just got some really cool retro stuff it's a lot of horror mask and things like that look at this right here so that's something we have not really seen out and about on any of our toy hunts biker mice from mars might have to pick that one up pretty good shape too but we'll get some contact information for red red is the owner and uh like i said it's just a it's a new shop over here in gastonia north carolina so always trying to get you guys hooked up with kind of new stuff to check out and look at so we'll get his information said he's a big horror guy really loves the horror type collectibles some nice Voltron. That's pretty cool there, Ozzy Osbourne. Got some neat stuff. We just, I love going to places where we see stuff we just don't see that often. Got a lot of snake mountains and got the panthors old panthor battle cat up here so that's pretty cool got a sky sled got the new scare glow trap jaw see if you're looking for this wave we got it all here Original real Ghostbusters inventory. And we got the Kenner reissues here. Let's see, are these are these the reissues or these? Are, yeah, these are the reissues. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Couldn't pass those up. Heck no, man. there now is this firehouse is this the box for it is. this it firehouse is 100 okay. complete with all the inserts beautiful box that box is in perfect condition just about yeah it is got a fully complete ecto one in there pretty awesome Time pack. Got a 
horror movie going on on the TV there. Monsters in my pocket, and those are germs. Germs. That's I was I was just wondering what yeah. what those were. I, the monsters in my pockets. I remember. Uh huh. And these are, are these muscle? They are. Muscle figures, yeah. Then there's some old um, gumball machine, you know, horror stuff kind of mixed in with that stuff. And California raisins. Yeah. <laughs> I love, you know, anything McDonald's. Heck yeah. Because that just screams our childhood, you know? Absolutely. Burning your knees in the Hamburglar <laughs> um, playground. This is red, right here. How y'all doing? <laughs> All right, now we'll come over here. Let's take a look at what we got in the middle over here. Old crash test dummies. Good shape, too. Something to drink. I got coke and water. Oh, we're we're good, man. I appreciate it though. No worries, man. Oh, I like that Rambo. That's awesome. That Rambo lunchbox. It's extreme dinosaurs. It's pretty cool. You don't see those very often. Trolls. have the car underneath it's pretty cool there yeah that cover is always missing yeah that's pretty that's pretty cool remember i remember in the movie he transformed it into yeah into, that, into the armor exactly yeah. so it's usually tore up been thrown away you know at some point guys so here's red red tell us how we can get in touch with you so you can get in touch with me on facebook you can follow me at red genesis or you can give me a call 704-884-1653 also red genesis toys at gmail.com you know most of this stuff i want to offer in store um simply because when i go to a shop and i find something i want and the owner says oh that's going into an auction or that's going you know it's going to be shipped to somebody through eBay or something like that, it, does, it doesn't give you the option to be able to buy the stuff locally. The best stuff tends to go out the door, you know, before anybody can get to it. So for now, being that I am a one-man operation, most of the stuff's gonna be in-store pickup only, but at some point I'll probably get to the point where I'll, I'll start shipping some of this stuff. Cool, man. All right, guys, so yeah, get out here, check out Red Genesis and Gastonia. We'll put uh, the information in the video in the description as well. So yeah, come check out his store. Yeah, man, thanks for coming out. Absolutely. All right, guys, so uh, Red Genesis is pretty cool. Uh, it's a smaller store, but he's growing. Uh, like I said, he's only been there for five days is what he did tell us. Uh, so he's gonna be growing. He does the trade-ins. You guys probably heard uh, him talking there on the video. So we're gonna go from here. We're gonna go to see our buddy Jimmy at Back in Time. We'll probably just hunt it really quick. Uh, we just hunted a couple weeks ago, so I don't know if there's a whole lot of new stuff or not. 
but we'll hunt him and check him out and uh, see how that goes. And then we're going to go hit up some Target, some retail stores, that type of thing, see what they got. So uh, yeah, let's uh, roll on. I did pick up a few things at Red Genesis. We'll cover all that in the haul at the end of the video. So hang around for the haul portion back at the man cave. Let's head on into back in time. All right, guys, we're up in back in time. We're gonna just run through here real quick, kind of see what new stuff we got going. Some kind of new inventory. We just hunted here a couple weeks ago, so we won't spend a ton of time. We'll just kind of buzz through and maybe hit some high points. We've got some Rat Kings up there. A lot of TMNT stuff. You like those? Looks like he just had some trade-ins on some nice Hot Wheels stuff. That's that's cool, brother. Was this orange originally, or did it just fade? I want to say it does like all the other. Because I'm pretty sure it's made out of that same plastic. Sun and heat. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it probably originally was. Personally, it kind of goes with it. Dusty roads there. Looks like it would be one. That's cool, though. Yeah. I think we missed the vintage stuff down here. Let me come back over. I guess, um, Vintage scare glow in there. I'll give something to do with this to try to condense it up a little bit. Well, we can make room for some of this. Hot There's some of the stuff I've been collecting. Extreme dinosaurs, and street sharks. Clam before time back in there. One of my favorite shows as a kid, and one of my favorite movies. A wall of Marvel Legends in there. And as you guys know with Jimmy, if you see something you are interested in here, definitely hit him up. He will ship to your location. So you can find Back in Time Collectibles on Instagram or Facebook. We'll put his information in the description as always. There's a huge wall here of transformers and vintage stuff. if we'll widen out our lens a little bit and see if we can get more into the shot here such a big wall of toys oh superheroes dc stuff classics such cool stuff Yeah, let's grab them. Got a couple GI Joes left. Not many though. A couple there. Got some vintage He Man, real Ghostbusters.
Turtles, Power Rangers, and a whole bunch of Transformers loose over here. There's you want options. No trailer. Still cool. All right, guys. So that was back in time collectibles, uh, checking out Jimmy. So as always, hit him up. If you see something in the video that you like, uh, you can hit him up on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we'll try to remember to throw uh, some of his information in the description. Uh, I got some COVID beard going on here with the, uh, with the mask. So we'll try to get that under control, but uh, we're getting ready to run into a target and see what we can find in there see if we got any rat king or NECA stuff i've seen some of that stuff you know popping up out and about so maybe that stuff's uh you know starting to hit got a buddy still looking for rat king so we'll pick him up old zach jack dan over at his youtube channel if we can find him a rat king we'll grab it for him but anyways let's run on in target let's see what we can find all right guys over in the uh target toy section here See what we got? A bunch of empty pegs. Got some uh, Power Rangers in there, man. Lightning Collection. Got a little bit of Studio 86 Blur. I remember when those were super hard to find. Got a pumpkin wrapper. Another pumpkin wrapper down there as well. Some Peter B. Parker down there. Another Peter B. Parker. And then we got the Bakugan figures. Let's put them on the ground. Some Pokemon up in here. Tails, got the classic Sonic. Pretty cool. I also got these like three inch classic Sonics here. And then all the video game stuff. Fortnite and Halo. Got some Hot Wheels over here. Oh, got Jurassic World over here. That's a pretty cool looking dino right there. I've been collecting some Nanmu. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with Nanmu. N-A-N-M-U. If you like dinosaurs, they do a lot of uh, very highly detailed Jurassic Park and Jurassic World stuff. There he is. Hey, look at there. Here's actually some of the... Uh, was this? This would be wave two or three. I can't remember. I get so mixed up with the origin stuff. I can't remember. You guys tell me in the comments. Well, we found, I think, wave three the other week. So I, maybe that's wave two there. Pretty cool to see that out and about. Getting restocked here at Target. Everything we've seen at Target's just been the wave one stuff. Like some nice wrestling here. We got some Shawn Michaels right here. Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins. Um, cool. All right, guys, over in the NECA section here. Got a lot of our horror stuff as normal. Chia Pets. Bob Ross. Clapper, the talking clapper. It's interesting. Richard Simmons down there.
Pretty cool stuff there. Dragon Ball Z, the Bandai Dragon Ball Z. These figures are 10 bucks, man. That's it's hard to beat for the articulation, the detail some of these figures have. Pretty solid. Got a couple Doom figures here. Got the Big Baron. Stilgar, I guess is his name. That's about it for this target. All right, guys. So we are at a Walmart. So uh, again, we're looking for the defenders, you know, Ming. Uh, now we picked up Phantom yesterday. So let's run on in and uh, see what we can find. Obviously, I've been seeing everywhere the Ninja Turtle NECA movie two packs and the new Super Shredder. Uh, I've been seeing those dropping uh, all over the place. So let's get on the side, see if we can get lucky. All right, guys. We are in the toy section at walmart here got some jurassic world mashems there but yeah we got a couple battle damage velociraptor here let's see what that looks like i don't know if that's oh cool okay so you just kind of flick this it goes down shows the battle damage pretty cool there's echo velociraptor blue there We got a lot of his tanks, uh, Kong Godzilla. Got a lot of the Kong Godzilla figures there, like a battle damage version. So yeah, this, uh, this thing's getting ready to uh, get big as soon as this movie drops. We got lots of his tanks. So I'm gonna buy the Kenner Ghostbusters today if I can find them. I may go ahead and pick up uh, stay puff there for that line so here we got so this is like the hasbro megazord here i wonder how that would how that stacks up compared to the uh, bandai version would be cool to know and then we got the ghost popper pke meters there I wonder what this means, the void ticket and then verified. I wonder what those are. If you uh, if you know what those are, area tickets. I mean, uh, interesting. I've never seen those before. Ooh, looks like we got the new uh, wave. Let's put this where it goes. I might put it down, but we got all the House of X figures back in here. So I'm starting to see a lot of people finding those. So those must be dropping pretty heavy now. And then we got a. Uh, to be Parker, frog man there. I'll check that out. That's something new. Eight bucks, eight eighty-eight. New Woody figure. Hadn't seen, uh, haven't seen that before. And then uh, some new ones down here. They actually look like they've got this pull string. Let's see. Got my sheriff's hat. My favorite deputy by my side. Yep, I'm ready for adventure. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. If you're, uh, if you. If you're familiar with my channel. Please close my helmet before we take off. It's pretty cool there. All right, time to blast off for adventure. In five, four, three, two, one. If you're a uh, familiar with my channel, you'll know I'm a huge Toy Story fan. I think the first one came out like 1995, so I was young. Uh, but even as I've even as I've gotten older, uh, I've continued to enjoy them. Looks like we do got some restocks here different stuff road buster this walmart's doing pretty well check that out that is the i think that's the loyal subjects it's in the wrong section but yeah that's the loyal subjects gandalf that's pretty cool there haven't seen that yet got multiverse uh, flash a whole bunch of flash got some jokers down here a little bit of star wars action going on with uh, Grief and Moth. Quill back in there. Pretty solid. <clears throat> Got a red alert down here. 
Got another restock of the red figures, it looks like. We got Megatron, Optimus, and then up here, a whole bunch of uh, Soundwave. Another Megatron, so that's pretty cool. And then your Kingdom figures. A ton of uh, Paleo tracks and Black Arachnia. And then I uh, even got Warpath back in here. This Walmart has really done a good job of stocking, stocking their shelves here. Fortnite, Halo. And it's been all around here. Looks like the Lenard stuff's gotten pretty good stock. There's a seven inch and then like the, whatever that is, 10 or 12 inch. With the clear version. It's pretty cool there, that like the seven inch Alien. Looks good. And then, uh, The Rottweiler, pretty cool. Uh oh, let's put you back up. You don't have a lot of room on your shelf. <clears throat> and as we keep moving here, get down into uh, our He-Man Steel Wave One. It was pretty cool. We saw a couple of new waves yesterday, but just all Battle Cats here. And as we keep coming down, wrestling is pretty empty. Got the AEW ring up there, but just basic figures. All right, let's head back to the mecha section. There we go, so here's what we got. Still got our Doc Browns out and about. In there. Got a uh, Godzilla figure, Evil Dead. Let's see, here's some more of these loyal subjects, like the Gandalf we just saw. Check that out, that's a new one. Stan Lee. That's pretty cool right there. That's a, I've not seen that one. And then we got a Rocky. Let me go there. Picture from the Black Lagoon. Some Star Trek. Got our fig pins over here. The turtles. And the X-Men from the 1990 film. But I don't see any of our turtles uh, movie mecha, mecha turtles. Got a little bit of a section right over here. But still, no. No mecha turtles. So we're starting to spread our mecha section all over the place, y'all. So here's a. Here's the Assassin Predator. Check that guy, I mean, he's huge. I had no clue this guy was so big. 50 bucks, but he's, I mean, he's like 10 inches tall. And then check that out. There is our Flash, which we've already got. And then we got Marty McFly. This is the audition version. Battle of the Bands there. The uh, hand kind of disappearing. And then uh, we got our Batman Batarang, which I picked up one already. Our new King Kong figure. Still no turtles, but they got this stuff spread everywhere. So that Walmart was uh, really, really well stocked all the way. Even in the NECA section, it was stocked well. I know we didn't have the turtles that we were looking for, but um, you know, it had, it had a lot of nice stock back there. But one thing I noticed was, uh, they had it spread out in like three different locations uh, between um, the main NECA section and then a couple different end caps. So that was kind of different. You know, it's like, it's almost like they're, they're spreading it out throughout the electronic section. So if you check the NECA section, you don't see what you're looking for. Make sure you check some of the end caps in the electronic section. Uh, they may have had to expand, uh, you know, the section out. So it's a little something different. Uh, we did pick up the uh, Stay Puff, so we're looking for the other four Kenner, um, go, you know, real Ghostbusters. We've seen them a thousand times. I've been talking about getting them forever. I'm sure now all of a sudden they will disappear off the shelves. Uh, but anyways, we're now to Target. Let's go ahead. Let's run into Target. See what we can find here. Start here, guys. Got a uh, WrestleMania set up. Just China Edge. All we got. 
probably Shawn Michaels and those guys, I'm sure. Goldberg are the most popular, but look at there. We do have a Goldberg over here, which we'd already found these previously. Um, it's still good to see them. Jar Jar Binks, who I thought was going to be a tough one to find at one point, kind of hanging out. There's these sky sled. Hadn't seen a whole lot of those. So it's pretty cool to see that back out. We originally, obviously, we seen them at Walmart. Now we're seeing them at Target. Wave one there. The Cara Dune figure, if you need one. Huh. And then our uh, kind of Disney Pixar sections here. Jurassic World. Nothing new that I can tell. We've got a pterodon here. Looks pretty good. Uh -huh. a flying gimmick. A little Fortnite. Mario with the one up, Black Yoshi, Shy Guy, Black Yoshi, looks like, and the classic Sonics. Any of those? here that was a seemed like that might be a reissue of something um I swear when i was a kid it seems like i remember there being some type of very similar thing with calls that would come out of the wheels and i could be wrong but i feel like i remember something like that there's a, that would be our marvel legends section there looks like we don't really have any any marvel legends hanging out Got a couple Power Rangers here. Some Dino Thunder Blue and Lost Galaxy Red. Lost Galaxy Red. And then a SPD Pink Ranger. There's the Ecto-1 from the new movie. Ooh, got a Grimlock hanging around down here. It's pretty cool. there got some studio 86 like a couple blur a cup so those are cool seeing those around coming on down still got a little bit of mcfarland hanging around some more mcfarland here is that a new robin i don't know that's a new robin that woman Joker. I do have a Riddler back in here. I don't know if I've seen Riddler. That might be a new one for me. Yeah, you have to let me know if that's a new Robin or not. Let's see what the NECA section's got. Alright, so we got Kong. We got our Predator. Normal stuff. I don't see anything here that looks like it's out of the ordinary stuff. Got our Sam. That's a great figure there that NECA did. Got our Toonie Terrors up here. And moving on down. You know, it's weird, like, to never have seen Rat King. So I, I got Rat King pretty early and paid a little bit of a secondary premium for him. I don't feel so bad about it because I've never seen the guy. So I'm glad I just went ahead and got him. And uh, let's dress. All right, guys. So it looks like uh, Walmart's the place to be. So uh, that Target was uh, 
you know, unimpressive, but we are getting ready to hit up another Walmart. So this is a Walmart. It's been a couple weeks since I've been to it. It's always pretty solid uh, as far as what it has. It is always, I mean, I'm talking about for three, four months now, it has had the Kenner Ghostbusters. Uh, we can see it. You can go back and check in our toy hunts. The Mooresville Walmart has had the Kenner Ghostbusters always. I'm looking for them. I'm going to buy them today. How much do we want to bet that they don't have any? It'd just be my luck. I'll end up having to pay secondary market pricing for them, which I think is about 20, 25 bucks. So it's not the end of the world, but if I could get them for 15, it'd be much better. I need them to go with the Secta 1. So uh, hopefully we can find uh, those. And then we'll see if we can find Ming. Ming is the only other Defenders uh, of the Earth figure that we need uh, because I was able to pick up Phantom yesterday uh, at Back in Time Collectibles. So yeah, let's run on into Walmart and see what we can put our hands on. All right guys, in the NECA section first, since we was walking by, just figured we'd go ahead and check it out. There's the creature from the Black Lagoon. I don't see any turtles stuff here in the NECA section, so we'll kind of walk around the uh, electronic section and see if we happen to spot any. All right guys, as I said, here's a uh, random end cap in the uh, in the Walmart electronics section. So they got a little more over here. They got that Assassin Predator and Battle of the Band's Audition, Marty McFly, and Kong. So, uh, not all they got, I believe, in this area. All right, guys, so uh, Transformers here. Some of the stuff we've already seen this morning. We got the core classes over here. There's a worked up beak. Cool class, got some studio 86 cup and blur. Pretty cool. Good to see those. Got some head masters down here. Got hard head, mind white, brainstorm. Yeah, a lot of brainstorm. Put those back nice and neat. Now we had them. Okay. And we got some Grimlock over here. That may be the first time I've seen Grimlock at um is that $29 for Grimlock? I don't know. That don't seem right. I'm thinking that. There we go. Yeah, they got him in the wrong spot. He's $49. And, uh, coming on down. Looks like we got some uh, Farland. There's a gold label. Witcher. series now we got looks like we got a mixture of the new wave and the last wave up in here Let's see there looks like we got most of the new wave as well as some leftovers from the last one and then we're see I'm seeing something that's hurt my feelings right now and that is that here's where the Kenner Classic Ghostbusters were and as I said in the car, um, they are gone. So the only thing we got is a slimer that has been ripped open. So I knew it, I had a, had a feeling. So hopefully we'll have other opportunities to find them, uh, but who knows? I may end up on the secondary market trying to find them. Got some uh, basic figures over here. With the sky sled down there again, so apparently that just got a full restock, maybe. A couple of uh, Black Series figures here. And then we got Wave 1 with Battle Cat there. Moving on down. Got a Lenard, that's a uh, that's pretty cool looking Predator there. Igor. Got a couple Power Rangers. What are these right here though? Is this, is this something new? What is this? Retro Morphin Power. I mean, I remember these from when I was a kid, but wow, that's pretty cool. I may have to pick one of those up. Let's see. Oh, they, they got the Black Ranger and the Blue Ranger. They got them all. 
that's pretty cool there. I wasn't, uh, wasn't aware of these. That's pretty neat. Yeah, we may, uh, may have to pick those up. That's something new that I have not seen yet. And then we've got the Megazord there. Looks like maybe getting a restock on all that. So, but yeah, what I'm looking for, not here. All right, guys, so uh, that Walmart, as we expected, no Kenner Ghostbusters. So that's the way the luck is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I should have jumped on it when I had the opportunity. I've seen these things a thousand times, and, and we may still have an opportunity at some point. We've seen them at more than just one Walmart. I've seen them everywhere. Uh, but it figures about the time I start wanting them, needing to look for them, uh, they're nowhere to be found. So uh, we are going to run into a Target now and see what we can find uh, here at this Target. Maybe some Rat King or something like that. Who knows? Uh, but we'll, we'll uh, run on inside and see what they got. Hey guys, over in the wrestling section here, we're empty pretty much. We got Elizabeth, the China, a couple basics. Oh, we got more of the sky slides. Sky slides everywhere. Some Jar Jar Binks up there. Got way one of our Origins figures. Right there. Some Ben 10. Not gonna come back maybe. It's kinda cool. I don't think that's in the right place, but it's cool. We got Camp Cretaceous. We got we got some 135th dinos coming. I'm wondering if these two guys would look posed, how they would look with my 135th dinos, maybe. Oh, let's see once I unbox them. Let's see what that looks like. Oh my goodness, tons of Grimlock down there. 50 bucks. Maybe those will go on sale at some point. Got the like arachnias, plenty of those. Put this back. Yeah. Yeah, look at all these Grimlocks. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. Not expected. Because I actually hear from guys that are having like a hard time finding them. And they're seeing them everywhere, it seems like. Ooh, they've got some. The legends just iron man mode that we've already picked up. Love to get it unpunched. This wave right here is hitting pretty much everywhere now. And then we got the peg warming uh, spider and then the spider verse wave over here. Frogman, the normal suspects. Subjects down there. Some Charlie's Angels. 25% off everything there. And then over to our video game shelves. Let's see what we got in here. We got Fire Luigi, Black Yoshi, Mario with the one up. And we got two Sonics and a Shy Guy. So nothing new there. over to the mecha section. All right guys, here we go. Over in the mecha section here. Ooh, we got some turtles over here. Let's see, what do we got? We got Baxter and Splinter, and then Triceraton. Two Triceraton infantry now. So I have to call my buddies like Jack Dan, see if they're still looking to uh, army build that. Uh, might be an option, but no, uh, no rat king, unfortunately. So, yeah, pretty much uh, kind of everything we expected here. Something new there. Look at that. That's a new one. They live. It's kind of cool looking. All right, I think that's it for uh, this target.
All right, guys, so we're heading into a Walmart right now. We're gonna see what we can find. Maybe the Defenders or the, uh, let's see, the Kenner Ghostbusters, who knows? It'll be a third Walmart here. Might be our last stop. Hang around for a few and you will be able to uh, see what the whole haul was when we get back to the man cave. We'll do a quick haul uh, run through, let you see what we picked up over the course of this toy hunt. Let's head into Walmart. All right, guys, we're in the NECA section here at this Walmart and it's pretty much typically what we have been seeing. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Get the fig pins. Pretty much the same ones we've been seeing as well. Um, got the Doc Brown. Trick or treat. Some uh, Texas Chainsaw. So yeah, let's head over to the toy section. All right, so here we are in Walmart toy section now. And uh, seeing if we see anything just new or out of the ordinary here. Got some Lenard there. And we got a couple black series up there. A lot of empty pegs here though. On empty pegs here. That first Walmart we went to today, that was certainly probably the star of the show. But uh, that's it here for this Walmart. This is uh, a Walmart I kind of hate, but got the Halo figures, and that's about it. All right, guys, so we are back in the main cave from our toy hunt, and uh, let's take a look at what all we picked up. So, first thing, uh, back at Back in Time Collectibles, my buddy Jimmy. Was looking out for me he was able to find a phantom out in the wild so we were able to pick that up i uh, didn't you didn't have that in the actual video um just because he didn't have it out he actually had it back kind of behind the counter for me uh, but we're able to get the phantom so we'll get a review up on this guy we've already reviewed the flash gordon we still got to find ming the merciless out there and then lothar and mandrake will be coming at a later time so that was a big pickup then we had a couple pickups from our new shop, the Red Genesis. Uh, so my uncle is a huge, huge Rambo fan. Uh, and when I saw this uh, sitting there, I was like, man, I've got to have this. I want to do some research on this and figure out, you know, maybe when this was released. But I'm thinking probably in the 80s would be my guess. Uh, it's in fantastic condition. I mean, you can just see here, uh, I, you know, it needs to maybe even be cleaned up just a little bit. But uh, as far as just the wear and tear on it is very minimal, uh, you know, but I think my uncle's going to love this. He, like I said, he's a huge Sylvester Stallone fan, huge Rambo fan. It even uh, came with the original thermos there. You can see that. So just super, super cool find right there, I think. Uh, lunch boxes are, are, to me, are a really cool collectible. We also picked up Biker Mice from Mars. He just had this loose for uh a pretty good price so we just went ahead and grabbed this guy love to find the motorcycle for this so if any of you guys uh, know where i might can pick up a, the motorcycle uh, that went along with him let me know probably my favorite pickup of the day here the original ecto one complete in phenomenal condition uh with a little ghost so uh, really really happy to have this now it, it's a little bit discolored not too bad you can probably see there that the, it's it's pretty good uh but it is slightly discolored i would love to clean this thing up and potentially even i know there's ways out there that you can kind of whiten old plastics so if any of you guys know those let me know or point me to like a youtube video or, or a website that i can go to and check that out i think it would probably do wonders on this thing just to clean it up in general it's got just a lot of dirt and dust type you know areas on it so i think probably just cleaning it in general would do wonders but this is the main reason that i wanted to pick up the new kenner uh you know four inch ghostbusters uh, because they go with this uh, and, and would fit perfect so like i said if you guys have a beat on it let me know i really would like to get them if you have a beat on how i can maybe clean this guy up and maybe whiten him up just a hair let me know that as well. Would love to do it. I don't want to dip it down in Clorox. I know that is an option, but these stickers are all uh, in very good condition, like on the back windows. None of them are peeling off, so I don't want to do anything 
that could cause that. So I didn't know if there was some type of way that you could paint something on it and leave it and then wipe it away, at a, you know, rinse it off at a later time or what you could do, but I don't want to just submerge it and dip it down in some type of liquid. So let me know if you guys, you know, have any ideas like that. And then lastly, uh, this, uh, this morning we picked up, uh, you know, Stay Puff from that Kenner line. So uh, we're going to probably be unboxing him and, and he'll be displayed with the Ecto-1 and the four Ghostbusters. Uh, the Slimer in this line, I, I don't know of a way to pose him. To, I don't see in the package there's any kind of a stand to go with him. So if you guys know of a, of a way, is there is there a way in the package that he'll stand? If there is, I'll grab him. Uh, but I didn't see any kind of way to, to keep him kind of upright. So let me know. Either way, Stay Puff was my favorite villain, I guess you could say, uh, for the Ghostbusters. Movie-wise, real Ghostbuster-wise as well. Uh, so we picked him up. Uh, the box art just looks amazing on this. And you know, on the back, you know, it just kind of has, you know, all the different... This is These are the four we need. These are the four that we've seen a thousand times. And these are the four that today were nowhere to be found now that I was wanting to purchase them. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll be able to find them out at a Walmart. But anyways, that is the haul for today, guys. Uh, as always, hit that like button. It helps get this video out there for other people to be able to see. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, we are getting very close to 4,000 subscribers, and I'm so grateful to you guys for your support and, and being willing to, uh, you know, support me day in, day out, week in, week out as we do our toy hunts and toy reviews. Very, very greatly appreciative of that. And then lastly, drop those comments down below as always. Let me know what you guys have spotted in these videos. Drop the timestamp on it so I can go back and see what you're talking about. I miss a lot of stuff, uh, you know, when I'm doing the hunts because when you're behind the camera, you just miss stuff. Uh, so yeah, drop those timestamps, comments. What are you finding out and about? What kind of cool stuff did you see in the video? Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Until next time.